from as far away as Colorado and California. Thank you again. I also want to thank Lee's parents, Claudia and Craig, for all their help in making the wedding go so smooth. It was a wonderful ceremony. I think you would agree. And lastly, I want to thank my dear wife, Valerie, for all of her hard work and support to make this day a success. Caitlin, the bride, is our only daughter. And from the moment she was born, Caitlin quite naturally assumed the role of our princess. <laughs> As a child, she was and still is cheerful, creative, smart, adventurous, confident, and blessed with a delightfully playful sense of humor. Caitlin, it seems, didn't have to seek happiness like most of us do. It came prepackaged in her, and she's always been willing to share it with others. Caitlin has pursued many interests during her childhood, such as ballet, gymnastics, swimming, painting, piano, bass guitar, photography, ice hockey, and playing a rock band. <laughs> and although her main focus was having fun, she also learned the value of hard work, self-discipline, and responsibility. I think you'd agree with me that Caitlin has grown up to become a very attractive young woman. <laughs> Even before she met Blake, when I was public with Caitlin, I would frequently notice the turned heads and lingering hairs directed her way. I know they weren't right at me. <laughs> But the funny thing is, I knew I didn't have to worry about Caitlin being swept off her feet by Mr. Raw. That's because I knew that Caitlin's beauty lay not in her outer features, but in her sparkling personality that is rooted in her happy and healthy inner child. And therefore, I knew that in order to win Caitlin's heart, a man would have to recognize and appreciate where her beauty came from, and be able to complement her personality with his own. And I also knew that those requirements greatly reduced the field of would-be suitors. After high school, Caitlin went on to the University of Washington, and four years ago, I had the privilege of studying abroad during the summer quarter at the university's Rome campus. Before she left for Italy, her good friend Cody told her she thought Caitlin just might meet her future husband. <laughs> and before Blake left for Rome four years ago to attend the same history class, he told his friends and parents that he intended to bring home his future wife. <laughs> and if she wanted her, how much interest there was in learning history. <laughs> but nevertheless, Caitlin and Blake met for the first time at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Five hours later, they were walking through Rome holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> and at 10 p.m., they shared their first kiss. <laughs> now, being as that was four years ago, it was obviously the only phase of their courtship that moved quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I first heard about Blake when Caitlin told her brother and I that she met someone special in Rome and was sure it would take a liking to them when we eventually left to meet. But even though I heard many good things about Blake beforehand, when I did meet him for the first time, I was struck by what a handsome, intelligent, well-mannered, athletic, 
polite, responsible, and quick-witted young man he was. <laughs> so when Blake called me last year from Palm Springs, where he and Caitlin were vacationing, to ask my permission to marry Caitlin, I enthusiastically answered, absolutely. Besides, I knew they were going anyway. <laughs> Caitlin and Blake, I believe you've both done very well for yourselves in that longest running, most intensely played game known as Find Your Soul. Valerie and I couldn't be more happy for the two of you. And I know Claudia and Craig feel the same way. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and raise your glasses with me to wish the beautiful bride and handsome room a long and happy married life. Here, here, here. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 